Hey guys, Mallory here, and today I want to talk to you about what makes a fish a fish. So these guys swimming around behind me in our like Seminole tank are very clearly fish. We have all different kinds, some catfish, some brim, a carp or two, some bass. Um, but of all, you know, we have all sorts of animals in the animal kingdoms, all different types of groups, and each group of that animal kingdom has specific characteristics that make that animal fit in that group. That's called classification. So all fish are vertebrates. That means that they have a backbone, just like us, and just like people and dogs and tigers and giraffes, all sorts of creatures. So there's a whole group of animals called vertebrates, and fish is in that group. Now, as you can see from these guys behind me, another thing that makes a fish a fish is that they have fins. So uh, mammal, marine mammals have flukes, like the tail of a dolphin or a whale. Um, these guys have fins. So they're the ones that come out of the side. Hi, little catfish. And then the caudal fins and the dorsal fin. There's all sorts of different types of fins for fish. Some fish, like these guys, their fins can move. And some fish, like sharks, they have fixed fins. Like their pectoral fins, they don't move. They can't swim around, kind of like Nemo's lucky fins. Um, another thing that makes a fish a fish is that they are covered in scales. So even sharks have scales. Now those scales come in different shapes and sizes and colors and kind of textures. So you have like smooth ones or kind of rough ones like a shark or more ones that are specialized more to be like body plates and armor kind of like on sturgeons and things. Or catfish is more like a skin, but they are all covered in scales. That's one of the things that makes a fish a fish. Another thing about fish is that they have gills. So unlike people and, all, and other types of mammals, uh, fish, they have gills, they breathe underwater, which I think would be a cool thing if I could do because then I could get to live in the ocean. Uh, but you can see on these guys, they have kind of a plate that covers their gills that helps protect it. And then on sharks, as we all know and have seen, they have those gill slits. So that's how they breathe underwater is with those gills. And lastly, um, fish are ectothermic. So that means that they get their body temperature from the temperature of their environment around them. Now there are some fish who kind of have some endothermic qualities, but for the most part, fish are ectothermic. So their body temperature is the same as the water that they live in, which can be pretty cold depending on where the fish is living at. So, just wanted to go over a few fun things about our fishes and what makes a fish a fish. So thanks for tuning in. Let us know if you have any comments or questions and we'll see you later.